Greetings, guys. I apologize for that slight delay. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, Cyrax here just just stroking one out. Um, he recently addressed me, and uh, I figured I would respond in kind. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Um, this isn't going to be a very long stream. It's just like a little quick video. First off, I believe that Cyrax's love, uh, Kate, was taking a martial arts course today. I think she was testing to see if she could move up on her white belt to yellow. Uh, I wish her the best of luck in her pursuits and her career as a martial arts special Olympian. Uh, for those who don't know, she wants... According to her and according to Cyrax, according to their whole gaggle of friends, you can ask them about this. She once punched a man in the head and sent him into a coma for 10 years, and he just recently came out of that coma. Um, so with striking skills like that, I don't think she'll have any problem whatsoever. That I wanted to do live to expose Marty and Jasmine for what they're doing. One, Marty, that little video you made, I mean, nice fucking try, you fucktard. That video don't affect me, homeboy. Oh, um, let me pull that up for, for those of you who missed it. Um, Cyrax, in his own words, proudly beating women, striking women. One moment here. See for yourself, just appalling behavior here by Cyrax. The only time I fucking hit anybody is my motherfucking girl every day. Dreadful, appalling. And Heather, you know, the captive victim of his physical violence, has no choice but to succumb to his ways. And I just want to point out, I've always said this, that Suplex City Vlogs has the best titties on YouTube. They're supple. They're a nice handful. They're perky. Uh, they're to die for. Absolutely breathtaking drugs, if I may say so myself. Look at them. How oh, could you not want to suck on those things? Anybody is a fucking girl. Yeah, dreadful, dreadful. Um, back to Cyrax here. I agree. He'll grab for six. Great fucking rack. Incredible titties. Absolutely incredible titties. Oh, shit. Uh, here's Jasmine. One second here. Um, how do I... Greetings, Jasmine. Hi. I hope, how are you today? <laughs> I'm good. Feeling oh. much better. Sarek's made a video on me. Yeah, he seems to... I fucking love it. If you take Sarek's side of the story, he is mm -hmm. putting out there that you are A, in love with him. Which is fucking ridiculous. Very jealous of his relationship. I didn't even try and split them up, so I don't even know what the fuck he's going on about. Yeah. Um, like, all, I messaged him this morning, and all I said to him was, are you still with your girl, and do you, like, do you, <laughs> do you really expect to be happy with someone that has called your dick an ugly monster and has called your singing um, fucking a screeching cat? Yeah, well, I think the, her exact and I'm just like, okay. it sounds like a cat being thrown into a pool. Well, that's even worse. Hi, Jersey girl. Yeah, but she did call his penis a horror show. Um, unfortunately, her sister has seen Cyrax's penis. Cyrax sent a picture of his penis to oh, her sister God. inadvertently. Um, I believe she was holding Caitlin's phone, and Cyrax's penis comes through, and it wasn't a pretty moment. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah. So uh, how, how are you feeling about Cyrax's accusations? Oh. I'm loving it. I love when talk, people talk shit on me. It turns me on. I'm just saying, uh, Cyrax calling you jealous, there could be some truth to that. Have you spoken with Caitlin today? No, I haven't. 
to, well, to be honest, I haven't spoken to Caitlin at all. Mm. Like, I've never messaged her once. Fair. Zarek's made that video before because he didn't like what I said. And well, I'm sorry, but if you clearly can't grow some balls and can't handle what a woman says online, then fuck you. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I saw you just wanted to speak with him, and he couldn't handle it, and he, and he ran off of his own stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Runaway chance. That's, that's all he really ever does. Well, he's literally like Forrest Gump. Like, I've given him so many chances to fucking even talk to me, even have him, like, me on his live stream, and he fucking runs like a little bitch. He's oh, Jesus like Christ, Forrest who Trump. are we dealing with, a two-year-old? It's like Forrest Gump without the charm. Yeah, definitely. But Forrest Gump was talented. He could play ping pong. Um, <laughs> he had persistence. He, he ran across the country where Cyrax can't commit to anything. His own projects don't get finished. Uh, his new manga, is it manga? Oh, the, God, I don't know. It's um, fucking, like, it looks awful. Yeah, he's actually including Zach Hussein in his comic books. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, mean. I just, I like, I love the whole Zach Hussein thing. Like, Cyrix claims mm -hmm. that it's his best friend, but yet the age difference is all whack. And Cyrix has said multiple times and made multiple Facebook posts about, about Zach Hussein's death and the date of it. And he got that wrong as well. So, I mean, yeah. if he was your best friend, that's fucked up. Yeah, he said he was, he said he was high school Zach Hussein, but Zach Hussein was four years younger than him. Um, I don't know how that works out. I don't know if Sardex was held as, in his freshman year for four years straight. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> uh, it doesn't add up at all. Um, and, like, if he was your best friend, even just a friend in general, how could you fuck up the date that he died? I like, don't know. come yeah. on. Especially because he talks about it 24-7. Like, come on. I, what do you think the truth is? as far as his relationship with Zach Hussein? Because I believe he just bought a pizza there a couple times. and See, you know. I don't even believe that. I bet it's just <laughs> someone that knew him or, like, he went to Sarek's school or something and, like, it's probably someone that he, like, has seen in, like, the playground or whatever and then that person died so he's trying to make out that it's his best friend. Well, he was on the news all the time. Like, in Akron, it was a pretty big deal. And Sarek's is known for making up shit, e.g. the whole um, fucking Ed going to hospital. Yeah, 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 just disgusting. All right, so I'm going to get into this here. You think what you're doing, I'm vaccinated? Don't. I just laugh at your ignorance. He doesn't make the video of me. Look, he's laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but he still makes a video of me. I just yeah, love it. Right. right. He, I'm clearly not, not affecting him, but he makes a video. You said that you say that you're not trying to come between me and my girlfriend. Yes, the fuck you are, you dumb bitch. Quit your fucking lie. <laughs> How do you respond? Well, I've never tried to like split them apart. I mean, I've just been straight honest with Cyrex and fucking Caitlin, and both said that Cyrex beats up woman and strangles woman and like fucking chokes them out, and that Caitlin's talked about his dick horribly and his music. So, I mean, if they both can't handle it, then. Somebody needs to grow some balls. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm like, let's be honest here. I'm not even fucking say like BK or like drama. Like, I don't fucking like expose people or make videos about people. I don't give a shit about that. And if you can't fucking talk to a woman like me, like, grow up, mate. Yeah, he just seems to run from all of his problems. Like, I'm not a vicious person, but fucking grow up. Yeah. At least have the ball. If you're gonna call someone out. Like a tip to everyone: if you're gonna grow some balls and call someone out, at least give the like at least man up to the person and like at least let them on and like talk to them and have a conversation. The last conversation I had with Cyrix, I made him cry and he ran off. He's incapable. He just hits and runs and then he just hides and mm -hmm. doesn't matter him. He can't face anybody head on and it's sad. Um, and Cyrix, if you if you want to, the opportunity is always available, but you know you're not interested. No, or he just blocks you. Yeah, right. He says yeah. for you to like, he's just like, well, talk to me, come talk to me then, and he blocks you, and it's just like, whatever. Yeah, it's it's nuts. You asked if I ever had feelings for you. Yeah, I did ask if he had feelings for me, because it's a fucking joke. I've never had feelings for Cyrix. 
Like, I never would go anywhere near him. And trying to ruin well, you were his life. friend for the longest time, and that was truthful. Yeah, and I genuinely was his friend. I genuinely did care about him. I stuck up for him. I yelled at like the guys that I was dating and covered for him. Yeah. He doesn't seem to appreciate a whole lot. Nope. He doesn't seem to consider others at all. You know, he's just barely... There's nothing... Okay, like when I say... Oh, my God, correct you, Gomez. I love that. <laughs> the Pavlova comment. <laughs> I mean, Clark is obviously a human being, but there's nothing human about him. He, he's... This for a bitch like you, Jasmine. You're just trying to come between me and Caitlin. You're just I agree with that statement. I am a bitch, but I'm not coming in between you and Caitlin. You're just jealous of the fact that me. Well, I mean, could you be jealous of how deep and profound their love is? I mean, no, it's, it's been fast, fast and furious. <laughs> Two and a half weeks, I think three weeks now, and it's just been a whirlwind romance. <sighs> um, I remember like that night that we were able to uh, speak together. Um, she would rather talk with us than Cyrax. Like he enters on the stream, she didn't believe that she was talking. She about. lied. She lied to Cyrax and said that she was going to bed, and instead she was talking to us in a group call. And I even told Cyrax, I was just like, "Did you know your girl's talking to us in a group call while you're making a video bashing us?" And he even said on his live stream, "No, she's not. She's asleep." And then I asked her, "Did you know that Cyrax just said that you're apparently asleep? Did you lie to him?" And he, she even said yes. Hmm. Um, so, I mean, whatever floats their boat. Yeah, he's just a, he's one of a kind, that's that's for sure. Me and Caitlin are actually happy and are actually good together. She actually treats me right. She actually does. Okay, she mocks him behind his back. She thinks he's a joke. And truthfully, she just, it, 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 she just wants Cyrax to go away. And she knows that if she says mm -hmm. no and rejects him, he will freak out, and you know he's coming with the suicide threats constantly. <laughs> uh, she's confided in me that it, whenever things don't go right, according to Cyrax, he threatens to kill himself, and she just feels bad for him. It's really just a, one big pity party, and he doesn't even realize it. It's sad. And, like, why would you, if you, like, let's be honest here, it, like, genuinely honest, why would you mock a guy's dick, and then why would you still date him? Like, if I dated a guy that had an ugly dick and I mocked him about it, I would not fucking go and still be with him. Yeah, and the thing that you're First of all, I wouldn't mock a guy's dick. But, I mean, like, in general, why would you still be with him if that's what you thought? Yeah, and the thing that he's most passionate about, his music, she she thinks is a fucking disgrace. and She thinks it's the worst thing she's ever heard. Um, she doesn't tell him that because it would break his heart. No. But and, I mean, if it did come down to it and she wanted to fucking fight me, I mean, bring it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see. Well, I'd love to see her bring it. She is a martial artist. She had her test today. She was trying to advance from white to yellow belt. <laughs> and you know about the woman she punched in the head and uh, went into a coma. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a guy, wasn't it? It was a guy. It was a guy. That, was yeah, in a coma yeah. for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she lies just as much as fucking Cyrix. Um, I don't know. For some reason, she's a little bit more charming to me than Cyrix. She's more she like, would you, oh, yeah, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> We're planning on it. Her, her yeah. and her friend, honestly, her and her friend, oh. Her, oh, DeMarco? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, Cyrex knows how to pick him. Yeah, Cyrex's uh, girlfriend's best friend is this guy named DeMarco. He claims he's the leader of the Bloods in Tulsa. He claims that he has mafia hitmen all over the world who are at his beck and call. Um, he's kind of like a black Vadi in a way. Um, and I say that in a, a complimentary fashion in case Vadi is somehow listening. You know, I do miss the guy. He's a monster. He messaged me the other day. Well, I mean, and you didn't tell me about this? He said, and I quote, I'll read out the message because we were talking about the whole Cyrex thing. He, he sent me a three-page long... And he messaged me he messaged me and said, well, it'll be all right. I think I, it might be time to teach those fuckers a lesson if you catch my drift. And I think he was talking about Cyrex. Um, yeah, and this is like a, an incredible revelation to Caitlin and Cyrex. But Cyrex <laughs> tried to make a hidden Facebook account, and he kept it under wraps. But Caitlin's own best friend, DeMarco, for no good reason whatsoever, 
leaked it to us. And uh, uh, I have a, a video on that that uh, I'll show in a little bit. But um, yeah, once you get started on Sardex, it's tough to get through these videos because there's so much to say, you know. But um, oh, shit. that shows that she's not going anywhere. All he does is threaten to end his life. She told me this, that when things go wrong, like, well, Caitlin, you know, without you, I, I'd hang myself from my curtain rod up here, <laughs> you know. I'm, uh, I'm going to hop on a train track like my ex, Abby, who lost her arm, you know, and he just, she gets him to feel bad for him. And see, I'm like you, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Caitlin just doesn't sit there and say, oh, I love you and not sure. No, she actually sits there. I've never said I loved him. <laughs> you paused it at the right spot. <laughs> what could it say? <laughs> Sorry. And shows that she loves me. She shows that she cares about me. Yeah, Every she bitches day. about your dick and your like horrible borders and your music. That That's true love. Like yeah, and she was able to convince Cyrax that the call I had with her was just to get information out of me. She never at one point asked me for personal information. She never tried to paint me in a negative light. Um, and I didn't try to paint her in a negative light. I just had to convey to her how dangerous Cyrax was. And it, it's the truth. He, he chokes women. He is a loose cannon. He's a scary guy. I'm terrified. Fucking me, man. And if you do, you got a funny fucking way of showing it, bitch. And you sit there and say that, you know, you're not trying to come between me and Caitlin. Yeah, the fuck you are. But doing the shit you're doing, Jasmine, you are trying to come between me and Caitlin. Oh, I love you too, Fago McFox. You're so cute. Mm. Why are you trying to get in between Caitlin and Cyrax? Oh, yeah, totally. It's just what I do. I just get in between Caitlin and Cyrix. It's totally what's happening. Um, I think, and Caitlin did also tell me this, that she was jealous that Cyrix sent you full-on jerk-off videos, but she didn't get any. <laughs> the funny thing is, just a few days before she got, or what he got with her, he was sending me jerk-off videos. And saying how apparently he's in love with me and he will wait for me and all this blah, 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 blah. Like, fucking hell, mate. I mean, I just want to see uh, who in the chat here. Who, ha If anyone hasn't seen it, I'll, I'll, I'll see if a link can't be posted. Oh, Fago, you're so sweet. I love your comments. I love you in the chat bashing oh, me. It's so that's adorable. Charming. Um, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know how to really... Uh, and it's fun. <laughs> uh, stick around for a while, huh, Ron. We'll see, man, for sure. <sighs> yeah, he just looks so miserable. You know, he can say, like, you can't touch me, Marty. I'm invincible. <laughs> I always do. <beat> <laughs> <laughs> He believes that too. Mm. But Jasmine, you are nothing more than a waste of space, just like Marty. I mean, how What's do you? your opinion, Cyrix? Yeah, um, it's different. <laughs> take insults from Cyrix. You know, he he's like a possum man. He is a miserable human being. I mean, I don't really. It doesn't bother me. Your attempts to actually fucking try to break me and Caitlin up are stupid. They're already well, broke. first of all, I guess you guys may be still together, but clearly you guys have had a rocky past in your relationship. Yeah. Um, and, and I mean, we may not be the cause of it, but at least <laughs> we're just bringing stuff to the surface, which has been said between you guys. Yeah, and if so... That's all we're doing. <laughs> it, all we're doing is... You know, shining a light on you, Cyrax. And you're doing it all yourself in your own words. Yep. 
Like, you really think? Oh, yeah, Tawdry Hepburn here. Weren't you supposed to be offline all of today for your girlfriend's martial arts test? Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Caitlin is going from, or attempting to go from white belt to yellow belt, and he said that he wouldn't be on streams at all today. So. Then I'm going to leave my girlfriend that I'm actually happy with for you? You're fucking Which, stupid. First of all, I've never, ever, ever, ever said anything about that. I don't fucking want Cyrex. Like, I don't fucking want Cyrex. Never had any romantic feelings towards him. Okay, please. I mean, he can leave Caitlyn. I don't give a shit about him and Caitlyn's relationship. But I don't want him. I don't even think anyone else wants him, to be honest. Is there a chance that you're looking at him like a stock, like buy low, and then once he goes to Hollywood and makes all this money? Cyrex will never go to Hollywood. You don't know that. I do know that, Marty. (laughs) Sarex is never going to Hollywood. He'll never leave his basement. I mean, he can't even make his own fucking hot pockets. So no. when Sally dies, what's he going to do? Uh, well, he's going to go into a home. I mean, f- not being rude, but fuck, Tony's in a wheelchair and still does shit better than Cyrex. The thing they think is selfish Tony's Sarah... crippled and still, like, literally, like, does more productive things than Cyrex. And Tony okay. actually has a legit mer- reason why. Like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, There's always worse people off than Cyrix. I think, oh they prefer, uh, I think they prefer physically disabled to crippled. Uh, well, you know, it's, 2020. Tony knows I don't mean it in a bad way. But yeah. still, like, yeah. Yeah. Tony's yeah. done so much. I mean, there's people off with brain injuries doing more things than Cyrix. Did you know that midget is the one word? It's, it, they try to say the same thing. Wait, but, what? Uh, they don't like crippled. Uh, apparently, like, little people don't like being called midgets. You know, it's it's a big deal. Anyway, I'd rather be with Caitlin because Caitlin not only good for you, Cyrix. You be with a bitch that's talking shit on your cock. Good for you. And you're sure you're not jealous? No. Okay. I'll take God, I can- <laughs> what I did. I just, hey, like Sarix, like Sarix yelled at me, go fuck yourself, Jasmine. Well, you know what? <laughs> me and my toys, my toys can make me come more than you'd even make a chick. I don't know. Well done, Cyrus. I don't know. He, he, I, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're right. Yeah. She ensures me and shows me every fucking day. That she does want to be with him. Yeah, she shows them that she wants to be with him by mocking everything about him. Okay. Literally a few days ago, he, she was bitching about his cock. I'm like, come on. What is this? Jesus and you know she doesn't tell Cyrax, like, that's okay. You know, I like your music. That's You know she tells him. The funny him, oh, thing is, the funny so thing weird. is, she's not even upset about being recorded. She was upset that you recorded it during those moments that she said about him. Because she knew you were going to use it against him. She probably didn't even give a shit she was being recorded. She's just probably upset that you recorded her during that shit that she said about Cyrus. Hmm. Interesting. Like, come on. Interesting. Like, I wouldn't give a shit if I've been recorded. I mean, I, I don't even have an alt because I stand by what I say. I'm gonna mm-hmm. if I'm gonna say like Cyrix, your dick's ugly. If I'm gonna say to anyone their dick's ugly. I'll say it with my name and stand by that. Yeah. Like fucking people need to grow up and like if you got some shit to say on someone, like actually say it to their face. Caitlin, yeah. honey, if you <laughs> if you <laughs> didn't want to get recorded or if you didn't want that shit getting out there, you should have shut your mouth. Yeah, and she's not gonna say how she truly feels to you, Cyrix, because you threaten to kill yourself on a daily basis. It's just, you know, she feels bad for you. Stop saying you're going to kill yourself and see how long she talks to you. She's not just going to up and, you know, have a family with me and, you know, leave me with the kid. No. What? She's actually going to sit there. You know, leave me with the kid. No. Wait a second. With me. She's not just going to up and, you know, have a family with me and, you know, She's not just going to up and have a family with me. He's talking about Caitlin? Up 
Oh, leave, me leave him with a kid. I don't know. It, Can, uh, yeah, sorry. I it's just my why and sorry. In every relationship, he always talks about having a kid. Like why, Sarex? Why? Can I also add that during the group call that all of us had with Caitlin, Caitlin's friend, and Cyrex, he got my name mixed up with Caitlin's three times. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He said, why can't you leave Jasmine and me alone instead of Caitlin and me? Yeah, yeah. He, he was said that he loves Caitlin, and uh, he said that he loves Jasmine instead of Caitlin. Three times he got that mixed up. He even did that on um, Crips live stream the other night. Um, yeah, I see Hatcher Mouth bring up his brother's death and linking to HIV was beyond a low blow. Well, I mean, I have to – I'm not sure if you're aware of, like, the uh, backstory here. But he accused me of murdering a woman that I was with and uh, to promote a race war and asked for her nudes. Um, you know, charming guy. Picking up on that means you're jealous. It, it could be. I don't, you know, psychology, maybe subconsciously. Do you think you're subconsciously jealous of Cyrax and Caitlin's relationship? No. Okay. The thing that People I love the most that. is he calls my tits $2 tits. Um, oh, sorry, $2 hospital tits. Yeah. And that they're, they're apparently botched and that the surgeon got his degree from a cereal box and <laughs> that um, apparently I'm fake. But you know what, Cyrex? I know you've been looking at my Instagram photos and you've been jerking off to them and you've also admitted that, honey. He so I hope it. you've had a great look at my Instagram photos. He Keep made talking made, uh, shit on me, honey. Well, I know drawing. damn well you've been jerking off to my pictures. He drew them. Yeah, he did. It was a nice drawing, by the way. Thanks. I liked it. Uh, he's been saying, like, actually, his friends don't believe the shit, but he's literally been saying for what? Probably four months now that he's deeply in love with me, that'll wait for me. Um, I mean, he blackmailed me for my nudes because he wanted to compare them with Jessica's. And I fucking mm -hmm. had to go at him for that. That was literally two seconds before he asked Marty for Jamie's nudes. Yeah, he, he asked uh, me for mine and tried to blackmail me for mine. And then when I refused, and I had a golden for that for being um, disgusting little shit, he then asked Marty for Jamie's nudes. Yeah. Nice guy. And be a mother. Like, she wants all that with me. And I want the same with her. So, Jasmine, nothing you can say or do is going to fucking keep me in. Me and Kaylin from India. That's not gonna fucking happen. You are not a good friend. I like when his eyes dart around the room. Then support my music all you want, but right now, Jasmine, you are not a good friend to me or a friend to me at all. Oh, Cyrex, honey, I love how you say I'm not a good friend to you, but yeah, I've been there for you for two years. I fucking supported you through so much, and you called me a prostitute. Hmm. You said that I should just go die. You've given me death threats. You've called me a bitch. You've called me a whore. You've called me everything under the sun. And yet I'm apparently not the good friend. Hmm. Oh, honey, you're adorable. You're literally a delusional cunt. Check out that sick brown leather jacket, though. Was that the jacket you wore when you signed with the Bender Boys? Yep. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, and I think it's his little Earnhardt hat that he used to, to steer around with. Um, sucks that his e-racing career fell apart when his TV blew up. I, and I don't even know what a TV blowing up means, but that's what he claims. and It's not there anymore. And actually being fucking you probably got it taken off him by Sally. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it belongs to the better boys and he's not allowed to wear it. Do you know how many times I was supportive of you and Marty when you guys were together? Even though I hated him, I gritted my First fucking... of all, Cyrex, me and Marty were never together. No. Marty and me made up a plan saying that we would act like we were together so you would fucking back off and leave me alone because you were constantly sexually harassing me. Yeah. I... So Cyrex. fuck off, Cyrex. He just sends dick pics all day long. It never ends. Like jack-off videos. You... Imagine having that in your life. Just Cyrax's dick constantly. Um, I mean, to me, <laughs> it's by choice, <laughs> you know. I, uh, uh, but uh, that's my thing, and you know, anyone can, can feel how they want about me spending a fair amount of time evaluating Cyrax in his purest form. 
So maybe I'm jealous of him and Caitlin subconsciously, but I'm not aware of it. If that's the case, uh, it is totally beyond my comprehension, but it's a good argument. You know, I made that. So, so sorry, Nick, if you want to make up Marty's in love with me and needs to leave me alone video, fire away, buddy. I'd, I'd love to watch it. Shit work. I gritted my fucking teeth and I kept my mouth shut for you. Can't, can't. Sorry, no, you didn't. <laughs> Like, in order to grit your teeth, you know, they have to line up. I don't know that Cyrix is capable of gritting his teeth. Cyrix has never kept his mouth shut about anything. No, no. Um, <laughs> no. He doxed Crip K. He like his best you know, he, he started spilling off Crip K's beans, which, if you should be loyal to anyone, it's him. Um, just a, a shameful little guy. And Jasmine, did you ever start to think for a second that maybe you deserved it? You deserve all the shit that I called you out on. Okay, sorry. You deserve- cool. Yeah, with your $2 hospital titties. Mm-hmm. And Which, for the record, you've seen it multiple times and jerked off to them. And you go a- enjoy the $2 hospital titties, huh? And being a prostitute. I haven't even been a prostitute. Well, I'm just saying, like, this is Cyrax's, what he's throwing at you here. Uh, Where's this? You ain't coming between me or my girl. And I think he made, like, 12 live streams, you know, calling you nasty names uh, over a two-day period. Um, he's made, tw- he's yeah, he's made 12 live streams bitching about me over literally nothing. I did, I had a conversation, he stood me up, I had a conversation about him on a phone call. He lasted two minutes, couldn't handle me, made a video about me bitching about me. He could have just spoken to me and we could have sorted it out, but no. No, no. And if you don't like my opinion, that's on you. That's not on me. Yeah, it's weird when somebody wrongs you instead of going coming to you and I saying... I mean, I don't like you. your opinion on me, Cyrex. You sure as hell clearly don't like mine because you just run like a little bitch. Every live stream I've been on that you've been on talking about me, I've jumped on and I've been nice to you. I've said hi to you and you just run off like Forrest Gump. Yeah, like if you if you've wronged somebody, you go to them directly. You don't go on a live stream, you know. That's just me, at least. Bro, and if you don't like it, then fuck you. Get the fuck out. There's the door. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. sit there unless some fucking Cyrix. Was it money? Some scumball. At bitch. least I have a. <laughs> at least I have a fucking door. <laughs> yeah. I don't use fucking sheets to cover my bedroom door. (laughs) I'm just going to be straight up. I have never in my life seen people use sheets to cover their door or fucking t-shirts like um, Ricky and Heather did. I've never, ever seen that in my whole entire life since I've been in this community. (laughs) Have you ever seen a five-foot-tall midget jerking off in a dungeon before? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, prior to this community. Multiple times. Yeah. Oof. Constantly. New Zealand. Come between me and my girl. You're halfway across the world. You ain't going to do shit. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> okay. supportive of me and my girl being together. You're the only one that's not. I get it. I do. You're jealous of the fact that me and Kayla are actually happy. You're jealous Mm -hmm. of that shit. And you can't stand it. Sure. You can't stand it. I'm so jelly of you, Cyrix. I'm so jelly of everything you have. Well, um, he's got a big boy steering wheel. He's got that cool brown jacket. (laughs) Um, it's got a, a, a business that will generate $11.8 million, according to Cyrex. Cyrex um, is here. Let him on. I'd love to have a chat with him. And I'm sure he would love to have a chat with me, too. I okay. guarantee he'll probably last five seconds. Oh, here, Cyrex. Come on, my friend. Come on, little boy. Yes. Come on. You can Cyrex. do it. The rule of transformative content, um, I think it, if you need like a two-third ratio I'm pausing, I'm talking, you know, why don't you contact 
the police and put me behind bars for 40 years. I know that's the plan. So, Jasmine, so. I, oh, man, that would be great. Um, I just love the whole, oh, Marty, Marty, no, you're just ruining my life. Why can't you just leave me and Caitlin alone? <laughs> what a little baby. You don't like that. And you're in the same mindset as every other chick that has ever tried to pull the same shit that you're trying to pull, Jasmine. You're in the mindset of, oh, if you can't have your oh. other your other chicks have been choked out by you. So carry yeah. on. Or they fucking cheated on you like me then. Well, Cyrex cheated on them too, I guess. Um like when Cyrex yeah, did, did but, picture, I mean come um, on to uh, Gucci's while Heather was scrubbing toilets. You know, what a what a shameful blow that was. Um and it's weird, like I think they've been together for three weeks now, like three and a half weeks ago. He was telling you, I'll wait for you. You know, we're meant to be together. You can come down to my little dungeon. You know, it's, it's it's weird. He moved on pretty quickly. But I mean, nobody else can. And that's your fucking mindset. You're an insecure little bitch and needs to quit her fuck shit. You need to grow up. What up, Naughty? How you doing, bro? Wait, like Jasmine, what you don't realize is me and Kaylin are happy together. And no matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter what you say or do, Jasmine, me and Kaylin are not getting split up. Nothing you say, nothing you do. Is ever going to break us up. They already have. And, I mean, I'll say this. Um, Kaylin's aunt was horrified with what she's seen of Cyrax and she hasn't even seen him at his very worst. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. Oh my God. Did you hear that? <laughs> yep. And I heard it as well. I was waiting for you to pause it. Play oh it loud and clear. <laughs> Play it loud and clear. So fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. So, fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. So, fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. <laughs> Come up and explain this, buddy. <laughs> so, fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. Wow, I got to see what the chat's saying on this. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> 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 you fucking, fuck off, Marty. I don't know if that's the Cyrex or not. Dude, dude, your subconscious is talking, Cyrex. Your subconscious is speaking to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard that bit, and then I clicked off because I was waiting if you were going to play it on the stream. <laughs> um, fuck, uh, Schmeckle Cat. Um, I know that you have a <laughs> number. Uh, by any chance, can you clip that? And send it to her. This is her big martial arts day. Maybe it'll fire Play it again, off. and I'll be quiet so I won't laugh, so you can hear it properly. Sure, 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 sure. Um, but yeah, she could use this as fuel for martial arts training. You know, when she's breaking the boards. You know, my boyfriend is is saying Jasmine's name, and talking about their future together. So fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy, and shout out to all those that fucking love us being together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I, uh, no yam ranch clipping here. No editing whatsoever. What? It's, it's no. so funny. No. Fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. And shout out to all those that fucking love us being together, man. You guys are fucking awesome. Wow. I told you to so take my Jasmine, content down, Marty. You can take your fake little <laughs> fucking bullshit. Go the fuck somewhere oh, else. Oh, sorry, come up here. I'd love to have a chat with you. I don't think it's him. I, I, people are saying it's him. Don't be the time for your bullshit. Scratch away. Ain't nobody got time for your fake bullshit, Jasmine. You're fake as fuck. Like, for real. I mean, where did you get your boob job done at? Fucking I'm just going to make it clear for everyone. I've never had plastic surgery. 
So you didn't get. And your... I wouldn't have plastic surgery. I wouldn't have Botox. I wouldn't have every, anything. So Sarah X is accusing you of getting your tits done at Walmart. That never happened. No, it didn't. Um, okay. All right. I mean, they can be his fantasy, I guess. I mean, he already jukes off to them. Yeah. And he... then clearly he's got in his mind that apparently we're together, but. I, I can't believe they said that. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear it again. I, I, I just want to know what the exact words are. So, fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy. Fuck all the haters that want me and Jasmine being happy. Wow. And shout out to all those that fucking love us being here, man. You got, just like you. Fake. Stupid. Ignorant. <laughs> Grow a fucking backbone, you spineless little bitch. Yeah, he ran off of his oh, own. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm spineless, but yeah, every time you've called me out, I've given you multiple opportunities to come talk to me. I've even offered to jump on your stream multiple times, and what do you do? As soon as I ask you to jump on, if I can jump on your stream to talk to you, you fucking end the live stream. Or you jump off other people's live streams. But yeah, I'm spineless. Besides, if, when you've got big fucking tits, you need a spine to hold them up. That's true. My $2 titties need a spine to hold them up. This <laughs> 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 uh, expression. He's just one of a kind. Yeah, you may have this. You may have that. So fucking what? He's got his steering wheel. He's got that jacket. He's got the hat. The Earnhardt hat. You know, and he's got Kate above everything. So, mm -hmm. this was just amazing. And guess what? You gave me a reason to get dumb, bro. You sat there and you tried to come between me and my girl four different, four, five different times in one fucking day. Like, come on. I mean, so it, can he take responsibility for mixing your names up? Or did you somehow cause that too? Oh, it's all my fault. Everything's all my fault. You don't think I'm not going to call you out on your fucking shit? I'll be straight up honest. My girl wants to kick your fucking ass. I'll be straight up honest. Oh, I'd love that. But I'd honestly love that to happen. And I'm not going to stop her. I don't think he could stop her. Uh, I don't think she could kick your ass, but if she wanted to. But if I, ever, if I ever went there to meet her, and not that I'm going to, but I'd let her kick my ass because I'd give it to her right back at her. Are you ready to be in a coma for 10 years? <laughs> totally. All right. <laughs> I'll take the rest. Right now, I would sit there and I would let her do it. I would of course let you her would, Cyrex. You bash woman. You're a known yeah. woman basher. Of course you'd let your chick bash another woman. Of course you'd laugh at it because that's what you like. That's what turns you on. You are a barbarian. That's because you fucking deserve it. After trying to oh, kill yep. me and her, I'd laugh. I would literally sell tickets to see that shit happen. Because you deserve it. So all I'm going to say to you, Jasmine, is fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Marty. And fuck the bullshit you're, that you're both about. Because I'm done with the both of you for good. Oh, Cyrex, you're adorable. I love the, just his eyes right here. You know, like, they're, they're, it's like a ghost so eyes. Don't fuck you. <laughs> Which I could. And I'd still be able to play with my toys and come more than you could even play your woman. I would. I sat there and I said that I would let my girl whip your I mean, Cyrix, you made a fucking jerk off video and you could hardly come yourself. Well, to and be then she fair, just dribbled on a hand. I mean, yeah, fucking dogs draw more than that. Kind of oozed out there. It wasn't much of a, a spurt or a squirt either. Um, no, very underwhelming. But to be fair, he probably beats off eight times a day to send jerk off videos to women on the internet and men pretending to be women on the internet. Um, yeah, I, all of this is just something that screams, I want that. So maybe I am jealous of Cyrax. I mean, I would love to have my own music career. That would be pretty cool. Um, E-racing? I mean, that sounds promising. Maybe I am jealous of Cyrax. I didn't say I would. I'd let my girl beat your ass. It looks like a nice little hole to live in. Of course you would, Cyrax. Of course you would. But is that the girl, Caitlin, that you're technically with, or is that the girl, Jasmine, that you always get her name mixed up with? 
<laughs> like, which girl are you talking about? <laughs> fake as fuck. So, like I said, fuck you, Jasmine, you dumb cunt. Mm-hmm. And Marty, go fuck yourself, you pussy ass coward. I don't have time for. At least he got, you got my name right then. On the fucking internet. He can't right. even keep his eyes straight. have a real life. Was- yeah, Cyrex has the realest life of all. Um. His girlfriend is repulsed by him and doesn't want to speak to him. Um, that's why they're speaking a lot less. Um, he's never earned an income at any point in his life. He, everyone who pretends he's a fan is just mocking him. Yeah, man. I'm I not. love when he goes, Marty, everyone hates you in this community. Just fuck off. And I'm just like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, okay. Clearly everyone in the community hates Marty. And can't yeah. stand Marty. That's why Sarex's views are going down, and it's why Marty's getting more views. I Makes got your face. I'm here. Oh, um, who's here? I see <sighs> the chat. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, uh, it's a Side of that shit that I'm gonna give back to. So, Jasmine, fuck, fuck you. you. Stay the fuck out of my life, and Marty. Fuck you. I legit have Sarek saying fuck you, Jasmine, is my ringtone. I love it. You know, Jasmine, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes his words really hurt me. Like when he calls me a cut bag, it hurts. <laughs> I- I'm being honest. Like, I really respect Sarek's opinion immensely. Um, and it just hurts that he takes shots at me sometimes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was definitely interesting. Um, oh my god, Ace Bears, you're making me want to drink so bad. Hmm. Oh shit, Lord, I wonder how Cyrex is going to die. Um, you know, I honestly think the best bet would be because you can die from any number of ailments like liver disease, who knows? Um, you know, uh, and an eagle might come and swoop him up off the ground and, and drop him from great heights. Um, I would say the best bet is probably suicide. Mm. I'm not saying that's likely. I'm not saying that's likely at all, but um, it, there could be a myriad of other outcomes. And I think it's the most likely because there's, there's like a thousand ways you could die. I think that suicide is the most likely of the thousand. I'm just going to admit this. Cyrex is a little shit, uh, obviously, and with all the shit that he's done to everyone, I kind of hope that if he does pass away, that it's like something epic, like something like real, like (laughs) something that, I don't know. Like, hmm, I don't know. Um, I know that he got like a fungal, oh, actually, you know what? Um, I'm glad, I'm glad somebody brought that up because I think actually the best and most likely outcome for Cyrex is death from HIV. And for people who haven't seen this video, um, you definitely need to check it out here. Let me let me cue it up here. I, I have reason to believe, and this is not a, a statement of material fact. This is just my personal belief that Cyrex contracted HIV from his brother Bill, sex with his brother Bill before he passed. Um, and, well, and Cyrex like, did say on the call with us one time there. Um, he constantly heard him and his brother and his brother's boyfriend having sex constantly. Well, yeah, and this this is going to beg a lot of questions here, so we'll move on from, from that one right here. What do you guys think about that? I'll let you fuck my exes. Maybe they'll give you a disease. You might want to go to the doctor and get your shit checked because you might have HIV. And I mean, if all of his exes have HIV... <laughs> Yeah, and his brother Bill had HIV, and Cyrex is very anti-drug, so he wouldn't share needles with Bill. How would Cyrex have gotten HIV from Bill? I mean, I'm not, I hate to say this, but I'm just asking questions that everyone can figure out on their own. Better yet, I'll let you fuck my exes. Maybe they'll give you a disease. You might want- Maybe my exes will give you a disease. Go to the doctor, man. Get your shit checked because you might have HIV. I mean, I'm sure Heather, uh, her, her, her jaw just dropped upon hearing this. Jasmine, how, how would you respond 
if somebody who had slept with said that, hey, maybe you should go get checked for HIV and all my exes have HIV. I just wouldn't even be in the same household. Yeah. Do you think at that time that's when he had the infection on his dick? Uh, the fungal infection on the dick. Um, man, I wish I could show that too. Like what that looks like because it was horrifying. Um, who, who do you believe? Is bits of the beast. Who, who do you believe is responsible for his penis infection? Because he likes to blame Heather. Well, he even blames Heather. Oh, I don't know. It's a tough one. I mean, he has a strong argument that Heather probably isn't capable of washing herself. But he has to be reminded to be washed. True. And he wears the same clothes for days on end. Like those rainbow shorts that he jerked off to me in. Yep, yep, yep. In his, he jerked um, off to my Instagram photos wearing those rainbow shorts. And yeah. he's even specifically said that those shorts are now going to be mine, even though they're filled with cum stains. <laughs> I mean, they're a piece God, of... Gotta love him. He's so romantic. They're a piece of rock and roll history. <laughs> I'd like to get my hands on them just for the collector's value. You know, <laughs> memorabilia only goes up in price. Better yet, I want you fuck my exes. I love how his voice squeals. What was that? I was like, voice just, I love how his voice just squealed and how it like broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. Cyrax is, he, he's got us right where he wants us. You know, he, we're, we're just about to fall into his trap. Um, I, I, I wish we knew more about Ed. He's a very fascinating guy to me. I wish we knew more about him and how he puts up with this. But he, he definitely faked the overdose. In the chat, I'm an SCP. I don't know what an SCP well, is. Even if, even if he had pneumonia, <laughs> even if he had that, he was would have still been in hospital. And when he got out, he would not fucking have a family day with Cyrix out for lunch. Like pneumonia is like a huge thing. Yeah. Like it yeah. affects your lungs. It affects your bre breathing. Like it stuffs you up for like days. It doesn't just go away in two. Oh my god, um, Schmeckle Cat. Oh, I like Schmeckle Cat. Cyrax Nation. What is okay? How do I use a porn blocker? Because I mean, I have no idea how to, uh, to 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 stop. I don't know. Just leave them on and then kick them quickly if they do something. All right. Well, okay. Can this person show their face? I think that's like the. Uh, the Um, it looks like uh, a, f a fair. <laughs> you know, I, I, oh man, it's difficult actually being in the position to make these judgment calls. <laughs> you know, I, I've always been like, uh, you know who it is. You know who's going to porn bomb you. Know who it is. You know who is it? I have no idea. It says the Cyrax Nation and the Masshole Report. Um, uh, kick him. Um. All right. Device is not connected right now, it says. Say we don't want to talk to anyone except for Cyrex himself. Tell him that's to get some fucking well, That's not true. Here. Here. here, listen, listen, listen. Sir, he not, he, he to do this to you. Um, you know, I want Cyrex to see this. Uh, I think his girlfriend's having like a martial arts thing right now, so he's busy, but I want him to watch this later um, because I do personally believe that he has HIV. Um yeah, don't know this person. Yeah, Cyrix did have a newspaper job. I'll give him that. He had a uh, newspaper job but still couldn't do it himself. I, so I used to get home at 9 o'clock my time after being a manager at a jewellery store, a top-end jewellery store. I had to get home after an 11-hour day and, I'd get, and Cyrix would be messaging me nonstop, random shit. He would be saying that he'd be getting up to do his paper run. And fucking Sally and, their, and Ed would be doing it for him. So, yeah, he had a paper run, I guess. I guess it was under his name. Doesn't mean he did it. Um, yeah, he also had, like, a, a metal scrapping type of 
thing where I think he and Ed would drive around the neighborhood picking up metal. He said he would collect like up to 100 to 125 pounds of scrap metal. Um, I mean, I know, I've known crackheads and like that scrapping metal is something they can do. They can get through like, you know, a thousand pounds a day if they're ambitious enough, you know, if they're um, well supplied, you know, um, 125 pounds in a month is nothing. It's literally nothing. Um, he, he does have weak wrists though. Check his channel for fuck's sake. All right, why not? Why not? Why not? We'll be right here. Greetings, I sir. Corn bomb. I just feel like this is an unbalanced attack at one of the most absolutely prolific musical okay, geniuses How are of our you, time. by the way? An unbalanced I'm upset that you guys are, like, Have you seen this man? Uh, first of all, do you really want I've do you really want smoke I've with seen more than enough of him? No, listen. Have I you seen know. those moves? Have you seen his jujitsu? Have yes, you seen him training his base? You don't want to fuck really with that. Good. I'll admit that. He's he's he does shadow, he's in his shadow boxing. He's a masterful shadow boxer too. He is absolutely. He he's boxed himself mm -hmm. for fuck's sake. He's well, and I, like you want to bring smoke with that. He is, he, and you know what? He yeah. won twice in Ooh. one fight against himself. He won twice. You well, can't touch that, son. Yeah, my, my, mm -hmm. my biggest fear is getting murked in a rap this. Um, that seems to be his general way of handling things. That's how I'm going to see things going down right now, is he will. He'll murk you and body you. It wouldn't be the first time. I mean, I seem to re rebound. I'm totally scared of him. You should be. We all know yeah. that you're in love with him anyway. That's I, I picked that up in the first 10 minutes. You are oh, hopelessly, sure, hopelessly obsessed with that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can tell. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's why he's the one sending me dick pics and jerk off videos, and I've never sent him any. Have you seen Yeah, but you're video? receiving them, aren't you? So? <laughs> you have no I mean, I want them. I couldn't even look them. after I couldn't even look at his jerk off video. I bet you looked a little. I looked a lot. I looked after other people saw it. I looked a lot. Yeah, see, I yeah. Just, I, just, when I got it, you're I did denying it. this, but you are in love with him. I don't blame you. I'm in love with him, too. Have you seen the video? Mm hmm. Totally. I, he's, no, I, you know what? I, I don't even get the privilege of you getting those to? kind of videos from him. I you don't know. Would be more than happy to see so, them too. Yeah, I mean, I can. I mean, cheering's caring. Everyone's already seen. No, them, actually, huh? that's a lie. I have seen it on Discord. I yeah. just remembered. Uh huh. Um, how do you feel about his? The one where he's neck. like hunched over in the basement and looks like really angry. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. On the edge of the Buddy, dirty mattress. Um. Did you want to time out the butt plug, Ken? Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Because yeah. you've got no mods, so. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to argue that Sarex isn't immensely talented, but um, it, it, he, he does a lot of very questionable things. That's a lie. He does. He's an altar boy. He does not hit women except for the times that he does, so fuck you. Well, I, I need to tell you this, too. Um, I was actually the original founder of the Cyrax Nation Discord. So what you're saying is that you're a red coat. You're a turncoat. A turncoat. No, 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 no. I still am the leader of the Cyrax Nation. We're just operating in the absence of Cyrax and without it. We plan on doing bigger and better things. I want Cyrax here. I'd love to speak to him. I'd love to have a chat with him. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he can come on my panel anytime. Is that all he can come on, Cyrax Nation? Um, <laughs> also, Jasmine's face, which we know where she's dying for. So well, okay, how, do you feel, how do you feel about this as a leader of Cyrax Nation? Because this is pretty questionable to me. Um, I thought Cyrax was the leader of Cyrax Nation. No, not this, anymore. This is an unwarranted attack that you're that you're doing right now. It's completely unfair. He's not even here to defend himself because you're well, scared you're, of him. You're here to defend him. I'd it's like fine. To I, like, Cyrax is given the opportunity to be here, and he's probably watching. I'd like to see. I know he's watching. This. So I'd like to see you defend this. So fuck all the haters that hate me and Jasmine being happy, and shout out to all those that fucking love us being here. Like, you guys are fucking. Awesome. So are you one of the ones that love? Jasmine and Cyrex being together, or are you one of the uh, doubting Thomases? I did not ship them, no. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Frankly, from what I hear her attitude and how ungrateful she is for things like dick pics and jerk off videos, I don't think mm -hmm. she deserves them. Hmm. I'm totally ungrateful for dick pics and jerk off videos, especially one that I can I hear that. asked for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like surprises like that. 
<laughs> look I mean, at how he lives. Look at the palace that he resides in. Do you see that? I, I, I I'm agree. sorry. The we've just posted is so funny. <laughs> No, I'm serious. Like this is the this is the lifestyle that you could be leading, but you're too stuck up. Is what it is. You're ungrateful. I kind of like his. I kind of like his basement. It kind like I'm so, singing. It do you have? Goes with it. Do you have those 1995 track jackets hanging up off your ceiling? No. I, I bet you don't. I, what I'm really on is the big boy steering wheel. And I bet you neither does Cyrex because they're probably not his. I mean, the mesh top that he used to wear for the cyber goth outfit, that wasn't that his. Was that was his brother's. Stop accusing him of stealing stole. clothes. He doesn't do that. Wait a second. He, he doesn't just, do that. He admitted that it was his brother's and he stole it from the, a box. That he, he, he just did that to give his brother his a little clout because he's a generous, benevolent He steals from man. a deceased brother. Wow. No, he's just, he's just lending that deceased brother some He steals some from a clout. deceased brother. Wait, okay, can, cool. I ask a, can I ask a question, though, or like an actual question, mm -hmm. just for sure. a clarifying point? Because, unfortunately, he didn't respond to my comment. And I'm new to this. Oh, okay. um, I just really recently realized him. Is that his actual brother, or do they have separate families? Because he kind of said both in one video. Yeah, he's, he calls everyone his brother. So, he calls everyone his brother. But um, Sally, his mom, was Facebook friends with him. So I, I tend to believe that they are. Speaking of that comment, he's called me his sister. Does that mean he's technically... Incestuous? Yeah. I like his fascination with that because he's Jesus, really in love with me. pretty questionable. Do you want to time out Tonic and Sales? I'd love to time out Tonic. Because <laughs> he's doing you know, the well, whole N-word as well. I'm going to yeah. give you some advice right now. I've seen Sasha Crane in your chat and actually she got me the link because she's amazing. So you should probably make her a mod right now. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like anti-mod. Uh, pro- Free speech. This is adorable. Um, what? But Sasha Crane will not only mod this your channel, she will, also, she will also fly out and drink the blood of your enemies when you request it from her. So I'd really suggest that you make her a mod. I yeah. love the people in this community. There's someone new every day. Yeah. Yeah. With a new personality. Saying the same things. Uh, with yeah. Are you saying this? Yeah, static in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Pogba. Huh? No, never mind. Sorry. Um, I don't, I'm not even watching the chat. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, as, a, as the defender of Cyrex Nation, how do you feel about asking for recently deceased nudes exes? Is that something that you got behind? That oh, was, I'm, 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 for the record, I'm, that was two seconds after he blackmailed me for my nudes, which I never gave him. So then he went to Marty and asked for his dead exes nudes. I, I mean, Honestly, if you don't ask for dead exes nudes, do you even get bitches? And the answer is no. So I'm 110 percent behind that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Um, it kind of feels like you're kink shaming him now. Fair. I. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. I, we I have guess one rule on my channel, and it's we don't kink shame. Fair. How'd you find Cyrex? It's a long story. It started one cold New England night, early fall. I was perusing Discord and somebody put a video up of one of the most magnificent Hold on, I'm just gonna grab a drink. I'll be back. Sure. visual art displays that I've ever seen. He was in a chair and then he was dancing and he danced like like a woodland nymph. And I was immediately entranced by him. I was like, who is this talented Greek god of a human being? And then I found the uh, the Cyrax archives. And then I realized recently that he uh, he's an emo howling wolf, so he'll delete channels and just come back ten minutes later with a new one. So I found his new channels, and now I would like him on my live stream. Yeah, he's the biggest self sabotager. Like he could have a pretty large channel if he didn't delete it every few months for God knows what. Probably to be fair, but um, because because part of the charm is the, you know, I'm leaving I'm leaving YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like sure. that's what makes it fun, really. Okay. So I I'm now the president of his fan club. I'm going to promote him on all my stuff, and we're going to make him into a giant celebrity. Um, we are going to buy him out probably next week. Well, you are going to have to change your name of Cyrax Nation or pledge your allegiance to me because I'm the founder of Cyrax Nation. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our legal team on that. And just like we bought the name Justin Emo Howling Wolf, we're probably going to purchase the copyright on Cyrax Nation as well. Here's what we don't understand. I'm Zuckerberg, and you're the Winklevoss twins. I, uh, yeah, kind of. I'm just saying, I built it. It was my my baby, my brainchild. I made the Discord. I made the image. 
I made the name. It's mine. You so can tell what, if we, what if we work something out to where we may do like a brand ambassador? Um, we'll, we'll throw all, res- all of our resources behind it financially. You know, you'll get like 15 bucks a month, really, really flesh out your vision. We'll just retain rates to it. You know, that might be amenable. I'll, I'll, I'll have to consider that. And, okay. Uh, yeah, we do this a lot. We have an entire, so we do have an attorney that's in charge of our uh, mergers and acquisitions. His name is attorney Hugh Janus. He's a very yeah, professional sure. individual. Yep. Yeah, he sorry, a lot of good work. Represented by Marston and McGraw, I believe. And uh, he's had a lot of, you know, uh, representation over the years. Uh, do they represent his criminal proceedings and civil proceedings against me as well? Or are they merely... Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is simply our acquisitions attorney. He's, uh, I mean, he, he, like I said, he's, he's quite competent. He's kind of a bull shark. He'll swallow you whole. Uh, but he is, uh, he just handles our corporate affairs. If you need, you know, some civil litigation, then I would suggest um, our attorney, um, Richard N. Volva. Okay, yeah, because he keeps saying that, you know, I'm defaming him. Uh, meanwhile, he's accusing me of murder. Um, I, he's also, he doesn't refer to it as such, but intentional infliction of emotional distress, you know, he, that I'm making his life living hell. Meanwhile, he's trying to put a bullet between my eyes constantly, you know, um, but he just says I deserve it. Does that hold up? And he's going to own your house. Damn. Yeah, Um, I get it. Yeah. I put some money on my books and keep looking over my shoulder, waiting for the police to arrive at any moment. And, uh, sucks to be me, I guess. At this point, it'll probably be either the FBI or the men in black. It depends how far up the ladder he's going. But I, knowing what I know of him, he probably went pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you seem like a charming person. I hate that we're at odds and that we're going to have to fight for our lives over this Cyrax. Like I said, you know, we're willing to be somewhat lenient, you know, and generous. Just we like to retain the rights to these things. We go around, we buy these things up. Um, I built a media empire. I don't know. I can't apologize for that, you know. Do you have any other One channel at a time. Are, are there other clients I can look into? Yeah, just an email howling wolf. I purchased uh, Polly Crispy Danger Zone. I own that as well. I believe I own Taco Josh. Uh, recently, you know, snatched that up. I own News New England, but um, that is a difficult relationship. So he doesn't fully realize that I own him yet, but he talks about me all the time. So the ownership has been uh, solidified. Well, it sounds like I have an uphill battle on my hands. Yeah, News New England, actually, not only do I own the channel, but I own probably 95% of the real estate in its head. So, I mean, I'm very aggressive with my acquisitions. Hmm. Good, good to know. Well, um, is it even okay for us to be talking then? I mean, it seems like... Well, we haven't, we haven't finished the deal yet, you know. Yeah, I think uh, I think Epstein here is saying it's getting too Jewy. I have the nose for it. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shalom and l'chaim to you and yours. Um, shalom, mahala. Mm-hmm, word. What is your favorite thing about Cyrax? <clears throat> I'm back, bitches. Welcome back. Jasmine, he just says, I don't know if we should be talking anymore. He gives me a shalom. And then he asks me what my favorite thing about Cyrex is. And I could go on for... What's a sh- sh- shalom? It's hello in Hebrew. Um, anyway. Yeah, it, it sounds like there might be a little bit of anti-Semitism in the, uh, in the chat, so... A cat, a cat, a cat. Um, Does that bother you? Not really. No, I deal with that on a daily basis. Word. My arch nemesis is actually a transgender chick that spends 90% of her time harassing synagogues in um, tactical. Um. Hmm. Right on. So what is your favorite thing about Sardex? Um I mean, he dances like an angel. He has he the flow of his toes. Okay, I you mean, mean, to be a, 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 the biggest Sardex nation proponent. What, can you name a few of your favorite songs of his? How come I've never heard from you, love? Like, how come I've never heard um, from you before? I don't you know, know what? I, the one about his friends backstabbing stabbing him really just got me in the soul. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, you could hear the emotion in his beautiful... I've, yeah, I've never had an album dedicated... He, 
No, he me. didn't steal the music at all because I've never attempted to upload anything of his and gotten a copyright strike from somebody else. So, <laughs> like, it's all yeah. I can tell you that right now. Um, he's, yeah, he, I mean, that was probably my favorite just because it was heartbreaking, right? You just felt it. You walked away with it in your head for days. Like, how did this man take raw emotions and put it into this cherub like melody? I don't know. I'm also a fan of his karate moves, though, because like he he can he can transform from this beautiful, elegant angel of a dancer to a stone cold human weapon killing machine. That is true. Uh, have, are you familiar with Yam Ranch at all? No. All right. Well, they do tremendous work, and I guess they've uploaded this song um, yesterday. Are, are you familiar with Zach Hussein? No. Okay. Well, um, it is a man that Cyrax allegedly shot in the head. Um, I don't believe that to be the case. Some people believe that to be the case, but um, yeah, he shot with, he, shot with what? A firearm. Um, crossbow. Cyrus claimed that it was his best friend, that they were bosom buddies. I mean, we personally believe that they've never met before. Um, but anyways, I look forward to hearing this as, as yet. To. <laughs> I killed my best friend, Jack you see, <laughs> in his family's pizza shop. And he had died three hours later at the hospital. So, I'm going to go with the first thing. I'm going to go to the school to my best friend. Nah, I'm going to get his teeth down your motherfucking throat right now, boy. I killed him. But that ain't a goddamn threat. That is a promise. You don't ever. And that ain't a fucking joke. That is a motherfucking promise, son. You don't ever. I don't care who it is. You don't ever show this talk about music with Marty. <laughs> ever. <laughs> you keep music with Marty out your goddamn mouth, son. <laughs> Bravo. Definitely subscribe to Yamran Freeloaded. Do I think I'm going to that. That was moving. You should let the drama dome into your into your panel. Uh, I'm about to hop off of here for a little bit. Uh, in uh, probably like 10 minutes. Um, I touch little kids. I ain't calling a child molester. I touch little kids. I beat on women, bitch. So you need to keep your How long have I been doing this? Uh hour and fifteen minutes shit. Yeah. Um I'm actually going to hop off of here. I, I, I understand. You don't, you, you don't like the drama dome. Many people don't. Who is no, it? No, 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 no. Well, listen, I, I, I do uh, I've re- ask anyone in the chat. I am a degenerate gambler. I'm going to get something to eat before Monday Night Football. That's just what I was planning on doing regardless. Um, nothing personal this guy. Um, I'm going to tell him it's entirely personal. Oh, you can. You can. That's all right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All, all right. right. Well, have a good night. All right. You as well. Um, Everybody, thank you for uh, uh, stopping by. Yeah, have a good evening, and uh, fuck Cyrax.